Like I feel like Ten Hag today just polarized the group and like motivated them, made them like fully angry and all that. Didn't give them any tactics and send them to the field just like that. So they were like fully, you know, Mongolic. Like in the first fifteen minutes, they were going nuts. They were angry. <laughs> Talk about the game now. Uh, super entertaining game this was. Like started out also pretty um, strong by United. I mean, did you think like in the start only that like this is the this is the day that you're gonna? Yeah, in the first ten minutes, definitely because if you saw the last two matches, Liverpool against Sheffield and I think it's Brighton. The first ten matches, ten minutes is where we give up all these chances, lose chances. We, we start slow. Uh, we are not kind of applying ourselves enough. So Brighton scored in the first three minutes or so. Sheffield had an amazing chance in the first like five minutes. And after that, after ten minutes or so, is when we settled and we sh- really should have put the game to bed in the first half. Man, those chances, that profligacy that we had, all of that is just kind of. I think it's a carbon copy of the FA Cup game. So we were up and again we were started slow. Man United scored. We came back two one. We had a four on two or five on two chance in second half. All of those chances we didn't finish them, and again it costed us again. The same thing with Manu goal. The Manu goal was very similar. Come like the Anthony's goal. Right? I mean he was able to turn, take a shot. It's just I mean I can totally excuse Kwanza for that chance. Because obviously, youngster. I mean, he has kind of you know those mistakes happen you know when you're growing up and all of that. But but the fact that we didn't take our chances that kind of killed us. Honestly, yeah, and towards the end yeah. of the half, I was just hoping that United just hang on and it remains one nil because I think that's where we would have lost the game completely if like Liverpool got one more and like they did have the momentum at the end. So at at the end of the first half, so. Was very crucial that we went through at a one nil and then mm. could sort of mm-hmm. even try for a comeback mm. and like that one mistake from Kwanza like gave us a foot in the door and then obviously Manu was like what a legend man already. So I'm just gonna <laughs> keep pawning over him, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, like super strike, bro, star boy. But uh, that that's what like I was just telling Sid in the game that like I feel like Ten Hag today just. Um, You know, polarized the group and like motivated them, made them like fully angry and all that. Didn't give them any tactics and sent them to the field just like that. So they were like fully, you know, Mongolic. Like in the first 15 minutes, they were going nuts. They were angry, but uh, Liverpool were like breaking them down quite easily. They were a little more patient, uh, and they should have finished three, four chances at least, and that basically came yeah. back to bite them. Uh, yeah. I think the Salah chance was more. It was more obvious and glaring. I mean, the fact I don't know, man. It's been so off in the last two games. Even the Brighton game also, he just scored that one goal. Apart from that, he was very off. Uh, this he was subbed off in the Sheffield match. This match, so many chances. You could have taken a shot. At least test the keeper, right? If you cannot get the shot, you, know, you can't be blazing over 50 yards from the goal. I mean, just five yards from the goal, you can't be blazing over. The Salah chance has kind of costed us. Like Liverpool had 15 shots in the first half, United had zero. Like that's how different the first half was from the second yeah. half. Like, Ultimately, at the end of the day, on target target shots were six for Liverpool and five for United. Yeah. So didn't really matter by the end of it, right? Sure, I mean United aren't very good, like per se. But <laughs> in a season, if you're knocking out Liverpool from the FA Cup and you know uh, being a title. Uh, whatever party poopers, that is something. Something is there, right? Nehal, yeah, like yeah. You, you feel something. Yeah. Finally, yeah. feeling something. There is a pulse. Please. There's a pulse. I keep. I'm, I'm convinced that like uh, that day, like they had too much luck, bro. That seven zero day. All their mm-hmm. goals came <laughs> on that day, and then after that, they're just like breaking the duck. Because today, there were two instances in second half where. Any other day, I would I would have seen these players bury those chances. I think one was Salah, where he was in near post and he just skied it, mm. and the other one was Luis Diaz. And I, I I agree the ball was a bit hard; it was bouncing. But I see I I, I saw Diaz nine out of ten times he would have cleared it. So it was just like very unlucky. And I completely agree with Abhinav because I thought that the game was exactly like the FA Cup, which was weird because like why didn't How did they? How were they not prepared for this? Like they knew that uh, United were just like waiting for that one chance, and I think they built on that momentum from the first goal. And mm-hmm. second goal was also it's like a very low xG goal, bro. It was yeah. not like a 
by chance yeah. so it was like a very good quality uh, goal um, but at the end of the day i also feel like the with maguire in the back i f- i feel a lot more confident than any other mm. defenders because i feel like he's good in the air he may he may be he might he may not be like completely mobile but like he's not the worst defender in the current crop four and uh, uh, he was he was instrumental in the fa cup when he was instrumental today too and i think uh, we just have a club's number don't you think abhinav yep we'll never know we'll never know again like we'll Why? never know Okay, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're going in analysis based on results, yes, I, I totally agree with that. Again, there are two kinds of things, right? I mean, if you're based on the football or based on results and all that, but yes, it does seem very awkward for Klopp to not win, especially at the FA Cup. Probably he would have been okay with losing that, but at least this match, lose, you know, kind of dropping points from the position where we were in the first half. And I think it it all kind of comes down to the fact that we've played the youngsters too much. and we kind of sucked out every blast bit of energy from them in the over this period and i think at some point you, you really cannot expect to be defensively solid with a backline of kelleher bradley and guansa over and over and over and over at some point someone will make a mistake because mm-hmm. those guys they did the, they had the game of their lives against city they were solid enough against the, the games after but at some point something's going to give and i think that was that's what happened even in the fa cup final even now and i cannot wait for trent and konate and alisson to come back i cannot just just this week and then they're back i'm just, thank you yeah i'm i'm <laughs> just fine i think i think being one point behind uh, on or actually behind on goal defense right or, or one goal point goal defense yeah. yeah yeah no goal we'll we'll talk about uh, the implications uh, let's yeah, like, yeah, keep yeah. the game for the next I, couple of minutes exactly uh, what, what did you think about the the penalty um yeah i'll do uh, let, let me talk to sid i think he feels more strongly about it what do you think about van wisaka's penalty bro like i think you were discussing this also earlier but if that was not given as a pen by anthony taylor then it wouldn't have been like given a pen by vr right did it would drop off or something hey can you hear me yeah 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 i was yeah, saying like we discussed this earlier as well but um like if that was not given as a pen by anthony taylor in the game it would not have been given as a pen by var also it was like one of those calls and like van bissaka did not touch the ball sure he also did not trip uh, curtis uh, harvey elliot immediately mm-hmm. but his trailing leg did catch him but i also feel like elliot was going for the trip he was going for the penalty so yeah i mean it's a tough one i don't think it was a penalty to be very honest but i guess it was given and that's how it is 